21 goals already this season. Gary Blissett is Brentford's chief hope to end a run of four successive defeats. Two of those goals came in this competition. Jamie Bates suffered a dead leg in training, so rather than risk him for a full 90 minutes, he starts on the bench with former Spurs defender Brian Statham drafted in. Mark Pembridge has been an outstanding success since his one and a quarter million pound move north from Luton. He got a hat trick on his return to Kenilworth Road last Saturday. Missing from this Derby lineup are record signing Craig Short and Martin Kuhl, both ineligible. Their places go to Andy Comyn and Mark Patterson. And tonight's referee, Alan Gunn from South Chaley in Sussex. We pick up the action with a score still nil nil. Mortimer, who's on loan here from Crystal Palace at the moment, played his first game last Saturday in the defeat at Portsmouth. As they're trying to bliss it. Now Manuel with the cross. It's not effective. Kitson's header was. Now Pembridge wanting the ball in midfield and getting it and striking it sweetly out to Johnson on that left side. Now Johnson sharp always looks dangerous. Pembridge rolling it inside for Patterson. Good snapping challenge from Manuel, but here's Cavana. Kitson outside him. Eventually, Kitson sweeping the ball across. There might be a shot from Patterson. A cracking goal. Mark Patterson for Derby County. His first goal for 14 months. And what a beauty. Well, it appears that it's an inspired selection, Patterson. Kitson's ball swept in there, breasted down, and Patterson didn't waste any time at all, did he? Sweetly struck into the corner. Oh, missed totally. It gives Johnson the chance to break again. Brentford are rather reckless in defence at the moment, so Kitson sweeps it up here. Gabbiadini could prop it. Gabbiadini! 2 0 for Derby. A blistering start from the Rams. And that all came about because of an awful defensive mistake. Brentford giving the ball away. It enabled Kitson to pick out Gabbiadini at the far post. But the striker took this so calmly, down on the chest, and then Wallet. 2-0. And Gabbiadini, who's had a bit of a barren run recently, scored in the victory over Luton last Saturday, and has got another one here. A precious goal indeed. Brentford have this corner, Mickey Bennett to deliver it. And it really is a uh, question of getting everybody up there now. They've got to get on the score sheet now. I know that Derby Calby can be vulnerable, but it wasn't really a very good corner. He'll try and get a better one in. But it needs more loft on this. And he gets a little bit more as well, headed out by the, uh, the full-back and captain for Scythe for a third corner. So, good pressure from Brentford. They've got Manuel on the line, trying to unsettle Sutton. Blissett's up uh, pretty close too, and that's a longer one. And Coleman puts it out of play for a fourth corner. Fourth corner in two minutes, and it looks a useful one. Mortimer just couldn't get there as it came out to him. Oh, and then it's desperately badly given away. Brentford have been their own worst enemies, and that was badly given away by Statham. And then he's dallied a little bit too long as well. But a free kick awarded by Mr Gunn, who comes to his rescue. Statham. Chipping it left and asking Luscombe to do a lot there. Well, a very sloppy piece of work by Kitson. Oh, and then the goalkeeper Sutton fumbles it wide for a corner. And then he's totally confused by that ball in. 
Steve Sutton will not be happy about his contribution there. Conceding a corner under no pressure whatsoever. That was almost bizarre. And he will curse himself if Brentford pull a goal back from this. Manu short. He's get it back as well. Needs a telling ball in, however, and he eludes Gaviadini. This it's knocked down aimed at Allen. Oh, and Allen's kept possession well for Brentford here. Headed away by Forsyth. So it's a, again a congested goal mouth. As Bennett seeks to aim it onto the head of somebody in a red and white shirt. Derby have so far defended solidly. And this time, bless it, might well have pulled one back. It's the clearest chance Brentford have had. But the leading scorer, Wayward, with the effort. This was the best corner that Brentford have supplied so far. Sutton just couldn't get there. And uh, when it was headed down, Blissett had a very good opportunity. He spurned it. And now Johnson's header has found Gaviadini, who will test his pace against Statham's. And he'll win a corner for Derby County. Gaviadini hadn't scored in uh, seven games until that one at Luton in the FA Cup. And if Derby County get a third goal, you'll feel that certainly tonight's tie is going to be beyond Brentford. That's what they're looking for as it comes down to Johnson. Pembridge with a first-time ball in. Oh, Benston fingers it over the top. I don't honestly think Pembridge intended that to be a shot. But that's the way it turned out, and it really tested uh, Graham Benston. It's led to another Derby corner. And the man who had the shot will now take the corner. And it looks useful again. Ooh, there was further danger there. With Comin coming on to the end of it. He's only got one goal this season, and that came in the Anglo-Italian Cup at Cosenza. Very, very long again. And Mickey Bennett has to stretch to put the ball out, and it's gone for a throw-in rather than a corner. From the boot of Bennett, the former Wimbledon and Charlton Athletic player. Once more, Mark Pembridge will seek to throw it long. Usually it aims for the head of Gavidini or Coleman, and it is Coleman up there. Now Johnson gets a flick. Oh, and a complete biscuit. And it's Paul Kitson who gets the third goal for Derby County. And you can only say that Brentford are committing suicide here at home. Kitson, 16th of the season. He's fourth in this competition, and it must be the easiest. Coleman got in the header there, then Johnson as well, and then a total miss kick allowed Kitson a free shot. Well, I think the extraordinary thing about this is that we'll find that Paul Kitson was actually tying his bootlaces. He didn't really think the ball was going to come to him. He took full toll when it did. Still an opportunity for Bennett to play it in. Good ball now, and Derby could be in trouble, and here's Shawley, blitz it, it must be a goal. How on earth could that stay out? Manuel cannot believe it, he's no more than two yards out. The net seems to be gaping, and yet Derby got bodies in the way, and that sums up their commitment in the competition. Manuel has taken his time about this, but left-footed, and now blitz it, and now Allen, and that is a goal! John beats Steve Sutton and gets his sixth of the season and Brentford have deserved that they've always looked dangerous and Billy Manuel took time over this Blissett's header and there is Allen at the back post and not even Sutton could keep that out Blissett's header chested back down to him by Allen and he's brought down edge of the area Free kick for Brentford in a very good place. That was good combination play between uh, Blissett and Allen, which just gives a glimmer of hope to Brentford here now. Blissett and Luscombe are the two players closest to the ball. 
Is there a way up, or round, or over, or through the wall? Brentford have got two of their own men placed in front of it. Luscombe, and now Blissett, and it parts! And a follow and a second goal! Joe again, I think he's got it! Sutton's beaten, and we've had five goals in a rip-roaring first half. The free kick worked to perfection. Here it is, Blissett hammers it in, Sutton can do no more than stop it, Allen pounces. And Cavana swings it across towards Gaviadini, laid back to Paul Kitson, and Kitson shot, not more than a couple of feet wide. It's a fascinating contest at the moment, Brentford applying most of the pressure, Derby seeking to hit on the break and coming very close on a number of occasions. Here it is, and the ball teed up really for Kitson, who's got plenty of time to measure the shot. It's gone wide though. Coleman on to Gaviadini now. Gaviadini with two defenders in front of him, goes and swore oh, a terrific shot from Gaviadini. It nearly knocked Benstead off his feet. All credit to the goalkeeper, however, for making the stop. Gaviadini creating the space for himself here and hitting a swerving shot. The keeper handled well. So this is Derby County's corner, and uh, I think they've suddenly realised that if they could get a fourth goal, it would really kill off Brentford's challenge once and for all. And that's what they're looking for now, instead of concentrating on defence. Gaviadini with the flick, under the crossbar, it's headed out. And then they have inside the area, it might still fall for Patterson. Patterson! Patterson scores! His second, Derby's fourth, and that might just kill off Brentford's hopes in the Anglo-Italian Cup. It's a dream of a return to the team for Mark Patterson. Derby's fans jubilant, they're going to enjoy the journey back home. And it was mayhem again inside that Brentford penalty area. Gaviadini's header cleared off the line by Bennett, and then there was quite a tussle. Kitson chesting it down, Patterson had one dig, and then when it came back to him the second time, he rammed it home. So Mark Patterson, with only one appearance previously this season, back in September, has had a dream of a return to the team. And uh, having climbed back up the mountain once, Brentford have it all to do again. They might just do it now with Luscombe's ball. Cut back for Manuel. Oh, the keeper is against the post from Sutton. What a tie this is. Billy Manuel just can't get a goal. He's got one so far this season. He was denied by Steve Sutton in the first half. And look at this. Billy Manuel right-footed Sutton against the upright and it's gone behind. Five minutes left at Griffin Park and Brentford trailing 4-2 to Derby County who will be hot favourites at the baseball ground next week to clinch their place in the final of the Anglo-Italian Cup. Brentford do have a free kick now with a challenge by Forsyth. It was on Godfrey. And now they'll look to get the ball in the air for Marcus Gale. He's a very tall fellow hit there. And Manuel has taken it quickly. The back is there. That's a super goal and a hat trick for Joe Allen. What else can happen in this game? Come on, says Allen. Still time left. Five minutes to go. Allen's hat trick. The ball in. Intelligent free kick from Manuel. A daring header from Allen. And he's earned his hat trick. A last chance maybe for Brentford. Marcus Gale on the ball, confronted by Cavana. And he's got the corner kick. And remember, Brentford have scored from a corner tonight. Can they possibly drag themselves level in the tie? Gale hits it first time. Bliss it. Still bliss it. Another corner. It really would round off a quite excellent evening's entertainment if Brentford could get a fourth. 
Millen looks as though he's going to make a charge inside the penalty area. Hasn't come to him, he's come to Allen instead. He was so close to a fourth, and an exhilarating contest ends on that note. Joe Allen's got a hand-trick tonight and ended on the losing side. But remember, it's only half-time in the tie overall. Derby win 4-3 on the night with a couple of goals from Mark Patterson, one each from Marco Gabbiadini and Paul Kitson against Allen's hat-trick. So Patterson, an unlikely hero for Derby, brought in for only his second appearance of the season. But the memory is of a really excellent contest and Derby must be favourites to go through to the final at Wembley when they resume the second leg next week, leading 4-3. With the scoreline, 3-4 from the first leg, it looked as if Brentford were in with a good chance of a ticket to Wembley. Jamie Bates was in at number five for the Bees, while Ashley Bays echoed the Griffin Park leg of the semis by once again taking up his place on the subs bench. The Rams' record to date in this competition had been a daunting one, having notched up three nil away victories at Cosenza and Reggiana, and having polished off Pisa at home by the same scoreline. Marco Gabbiadini opened the scoring for the home side five minutes before the break, firing the shot past Brentford keeper Graham Benston. With just eight minutes left on the clock, Brentford proved they were still in with a chance, with Gary Blissett finding the back of the derby net to level the score. Within three minutes of his equaliser, Blissett notched up his second goal of the evening to give Brentford the lead. The final score, Derby County 1, Brentford 2, with an aggregate scoreline of 5-5. Sadly, the result wasn't enough to secure Brentford's passage to Wembley, with the Rams going through to the final on away goals.